This stuff is making me lose my shirt. Sure. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> that, was Jimmy, that was Jimmy's week. <laughs> so are you gonna say Sherbet now? Sherbet? That's Sherbet. Huh? Jimmy, would you go to your school one month and another school with a gun? Unloaded. Unloaded. Unloaded, what's the point? Exactly, what is the point? To, to bring, is that a gun in your pants or are you just happy about algebra? <laughs> Pretty happy about algebra. No! Guns at school, what do you guys think? No guns at school, man. No guns at school. You can read, you can write, but you cannot be target practice. No target practice at school. Well, so guns at school is obviously a no, especially if you're going from Granby to, to Booker T. Um, I'm reading a, uh, a news article about a couple of Newport News that's actually being sued by the Homeowners Association. Uh, this gentleman, Bill Garlett, says he just about is broke from fighting the Homeowners Association. Sorry, a little bit of a stutter. They're uh, charging him $300,000 for uh, claims that he has a koi pond that is too big. They also say he's dumping toxic waste in his backyard. In the koi pond? I, maybe, <laughs> maybe he's trying to make like a hyper breed of koi. Yeah, the three-eyed koi. The, the one, yeah, yeah, like they have in China. Yeah, especially in Japan too, especially after that tragedy. Yeah. Um, why? What? Why does the oh, the whole association go go? That coin pond is way too. Three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand dollars. He's broke now. I guess he's not going to build another coin pond. How big was the coin pond? How did they know? Because it was huge. Do they say about the fish or what? are they doing in this backyard? Well, it's the homeowners association. They can look at you while you sleep. There's a <laughs> <laughs> Your wife wakes up in the middle of the night. She looks at her. Somebody's staring in the window. Oh, honey, it's just the homeowners association. We pay them to do this. <laughs> we do. We pay them to find us three hundred thousand dollars. It doesn't actually say how big the koi pond was, but um. Uh, somebody called 911 last September, according to this news article, saying that they were being threatened last month by by the guy who had the huge koi. I'm going to sick my koi's on your dogs. And I've been dumping toxic waste in there. The so teeth jump the fence and grow lungs. Jimmy, do you have any fish? No, I killed them all. You killed all your fish. Did you have a koi pond? Uh, I did not, but they wouldn't survive very long. Jimmy, now did you kill these, how did you kill them, did you let them die, or did you seek them out in their tank and just, I guess, you just killed them in the tank? What did you do to these fish? Toilet. Well, I've never been very good at the whole feeding them, as say. That's child. So you starved your kids like sport on child abuse. Like kids in Africa? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are we gonna have to get that fat chick, sell these feathers to like some foundation for your fish? And feed them? <laughs> they might have koi ponds in Africa. And if they do, they're way too big. I bet they're not polluted. Alright, toxic waste in your backyard is another good segment, uh, or not segment, another good talking point. What kind of things do you dump in your backyard? Beer boxes. What about you, Jimmy? What about you? Yeah. You're giving way too much feedback, Jimmy. My dog takes a lot of sherbets. <laughs> I gotta be honest, sometimes I only have one bathroom in my house, and um, you know, somebody's in the bathroom, and I really gotta go out to get this in the backyard. And that too. Yeah, you know, just do it because. Do you think your neighbors are looking at you sometimes when you do that? I hope. And so do I. And then, as a matter of fact, sometimes I just spin around so they can get the whole like, This is my wiener. <laughs> oh, wait, my bleep. <laughs> Can't say the wiener. Can't say wiener. No, but what do you guys dump in the backyard? <laughs> You guys dumping anything in the backyard, Knuckles? Uh, no. <laughs> Your backyard is clean as a whistle. My backyard is clean as a whistle. I don't mess with my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pool in my backyard, and right now it's green. It sort of looks like toxic waste. They're gonna get you because I have to be a pool. You are a pool, or do you work on pools? Well, I've been in a few backyards. Oh, 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 you always know one of those. Yeah, thank you. Jimmy, you are hilarious. I am so glad that we got you instead of a comedian. <laughs> All right. I got, a, I got another uh, thing here. Bring it up. Bring um, some news. So, all right, you, you guys know it's, it's been raining a lot. 
It's raining its bleep off. It has. Uh, you know, it's, been, it's the second day, and you know, going through the HRBT, people have been seeing you know leaks in the tunnel, and I'm thinking just uh, you know th this tunnel keeps up the ocean from entering, and it can't keep the rain out. <laughs> it's a pretty bad tunnel construction design. You know, it's just flooding with rain. Well, maybe it's nature trying to take it back. Yeah. Well, nature's like, screw this tunnel idea, man. She doesn't need to go to Hampton or Newport News. I tried to look at the uh, article again, and I guess they took it down. <laughs> it's in Paris. We're ashamed. I, I heard that it wasn't just like water leaking in, it was water pouring in. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So apparently, like, someone also turned a dial or something somewhere. And I think there'd be more, you know, security in those sort of areas. You know where you know water can rush in a tunnel that's under the ocean. Well, the good news to that is there's going to be less tunnel traffic when you start taking your canoes over top of the yeah. RBT. You know, definitely. So uh, it's not going to be Thanksgiving by the time that you watch this show because we're not going to post until Sunday. However, right now it is the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Eve, yep. and we all know that Thanksgiving we're going to get stuffed, eat some turkey, do some crazy stuff, and then. That next night, actually, like 12 o'clock, it's, it's Black Friday. Yeah. Yeah! What do you guys think about Black Friday? Yeah, about Black Friday over there? Yeah. They should, they should call us something more like racially apt, though. Black Friday sounds so bad. Yeah. Like maybe Purple Friday? Why is it even got to be a color? Exactly. Like, buy a lot of stuff that's not going to work tomorrow. Like Friday. <laughs> buy everything you need and forget the batteries. Friday. Yeah. Or $88 LCD. I think it's because the red and black is good. The no, black is good. <laughs> and as far as being in the red. It, it, as far as it being Friday. 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 Why do you call it Friday? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it got to be Friday? Exactly. Why can't it be like Black Saturday? Why couldn't it be Saturday? Saturday. Just Saturday. <laughs> Just Saturday. So, are there any Black Friday shoppings going on amongst the panel? Who, who's going Black Friday shopping? I am not going Black Friday shopping. You're not? I'm broke. You're broke? Well, that's what Black Friday shopping is all about. Just put on yeah. Layla, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, I don't even like to look at stuff when I'm broke. Nobody's getting on up. No. <laughs> yeah. Unless y'all want to buy me something that'd be cool. Jimmy, you going Black Friday shopping? Probably. Probably. <laughs> You wouldn't go Black Friday shopping, Jimmy. I would be shopping. Jimmy, what kind of places are you going Black Friday shopping at? Clothing. That's a store? Clothing? I love clothing, dude. <laughs> That's where I got shopping clothing all the time. I like to, uh, I don't know, Express. 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 What about um, uh, any electronic shopping there, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, probably some new video games. New video games? I'm that store, too. Um, <laughs> video game store. You know, people often refer to it as a video game store. It's pretty common. It is. It is. It's like, where are you going to go to the video game store? Well, well, have fun. Used to be there was more than one. <laughs> it did. Yeah. So, that's the news, everybody. That's, that's what we give a round of applause. Yeah. For, uh, God love the news. The live news. The live news. Now we're gonna move on with our next segment, Why It Sucks. Oh. All right, now, Why It Sucks is gonna be a segment that we feature on every one of our episodes, and basically we're gonna bring up a topic and we're gonna talk about why it sucks. What do you guys think about that? I love it. You love it? <laughs> Jimmy loves it. <laughs> Now, tonight's topic of why it sucks is the Hampton Road ship. Yeah. Why does it suck? Did nobody have an opinion? Why the Hampton Road ship? You don't watch it. You don't watch the Road ship. What is the Hampton Road That's why it sucks. No one knows what it is. It's on at 11 a.m. <laughs> it is. People are working in school. No one has time to appreciate the Hampton Road show. Now, has anybody ever actually watched the Hampton Road show? I think I watched a stream of it once. Really? And what did you guys think about it? I mean, other than the fact that it sucks. Well, no. No? That's pretty much it, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, the Hampton Road Show does suck, and we can all pretty much agree on that. The reason why I believe the Hampton Road Show sucks is because, I mean, the, the people up there just have no personality. You see, we're sitting here, we got Jimmy, 
They don't have Jimmy at the Hampton Road Show. We have Jimmy here at the local live. We got beer. We got beer. Yeah, yeah we're drinking some some nice beers. And, yeah, you know that kind of yeah, thing. We got up. We got knuckle. We oh, yeah. got ten up on the Hampton Road <laughs> Show. Now I gotta make myself clear. Kyle Bloom is the uh, music producer of the Hampton Road Show. Kyle Bloom, in fact, does not suck. But because he's involved with the Hampton Road Show, the work he does sucks. <laughs> Through the transfer property. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's why it that sucks. Yeah. Um, another thing is, is the bands that they have on the Hampton Road Show. Some of them are really good bands, local bands. But, um, I mean, it, their performances just suck. Well, and that could be a link to the show. From what I've heard is, is uh, they, uh, they'll take a segment, they'll, they'll record like four songs, show like 11 seconds of it on their show, and then talk about how Granby High School's chorus team made it to the semi-semi-finals of some singing of, of the Booker T. Washington. Of the Booker T. Washington. Yeah. Exactly. That's when they brought their guns. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Now, well, you guys are performing on the Hanford Red Show. Yep. Awesome. Cool. We, we got a knuckle here. Probably not going to now. <laughs> <laughs> now this show, this is already your first episode, and hands down, we're way better than the uh, Hampton Road show. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it was. So, you have never seen? I've never seen it, never heard of this. You never heard of the Hampton Road show? News to me. News to you. Well, the news segment was last segment, so you can't keep up. Does my burp smell like hot dog? I like all those. He actually sniffed <laughs> before he said it. But I appreciate that. that I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. See, we don't, they don't smell burps on the Amber Road Show. Well, you know what the Amber Road Show does have that we don't have? What? Alvita Yule. Have you seen Alvita Yule? Alvita? Alvita. I love Alvita. Alvita is giving cheese. Yeah. Dude, that chick yeah. is so hot, she's got a bleep that won't quit. All right, I'm, talk, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm bleeping seriously. Me, dude. I'm, I'm not bleeping with you, bro. All right. This chick is hot, and right now I want to invite Alvita Yule to come and be a guest on the whole block. You can take Jimmy's seat. Alvita, right. Jimmy, you have a bleep that won't quit. Stand up and show us your bleep. Whoa! Look at that. Turn around for the bleep. Yeah. Look at that bleep. bleep. <laughs> I'm mean, you only have a way better bleep than that, and I want you on the show just so we can admire your bleep in person. Alvita, if you come to our show, I will sing you the most fantastic. If you come to the show, I'll always love you. You've never heard in your life. If you come to the show, I'll be bleeping off all night long after that. Show. All right. I'll do what? Bleeping off. I'm not, I'm not gonna say Jackie. Um, oh, I did. But you didn't put the off on it. I did. So yeah, it's just jacking. Jacking. You can say. Gotta get the tires off the car or something. A video. Come to the local live so that we can discuss your bleep and other things. All right. So that's why it sucks. We discussed. <laughs> what was that from the audience? Uh, he said she's not even in the Hampton Road. She's not. Who was the dude? Who's the show? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's why you see her wear the red dress. Really I messed up. This is not awesome. Juliet Bigford. <laughs> Juliet Bigford. She's the you have a nice sleep. She's got I'll a sleep. I'll be I'm not even sure. She's like 65 years old. Fucking yeah. I'll be like 65. She does have a sexy bleep. But she's like 65. All right, so now I'll be you. I'm going to have to take that out of my dream journal. Yes, she's got a beautiful long. She does. We were talking about the beef and cheese. No, how do you? So you show me. What's her name? What's her name? Her name, her name is Julia, Julia Bigford. Yeah. Bigford. I'll show her something. Mm. Bigford. Yeah. I'll believe that one. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Uh, <laughs> show. <laughs> so, Alvita, you, your your invitation to the local has been. I would still like to see your no. whatever looking body here anyway. <laughs> She's 65 years old. I don't care. All right. It's like trying to open up a cold Who are we going to have Trying to do what? It's like trying to open up a cold grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> oh, God. I've never even thought about that, dude. That's perfect. That is. Sorry. <laughs> so instead of Alvin to Yule, we're going to invite Julia Bigford. Yeah, I know somebody that goes to that church. She, they go to her church? Yeah. It's hard to pull her out of church, though. 
I bet it wouldn't be that hard to pull out of church. Yeah. I think she's got like seven kids too. Hey, they all came out of something lovely. Now, I think we should inquire that your friend that goes to church with all with I was going to say uh, Alvita Bakeford. Uh, Alvita Bakeford. Yeah. Julia Yeah. We should write her a note that says, will you be on the local box yes, box no, box maybe, or box bleep, box bleep, yeah. and then at the bottom just say, you're sexy. You're so sexy. You're sexy. Sure. <laughs> and he's sexy. That's just how and they picture me and you together. <laughs> yeah, just racing each other. <laughs> be like, oh, I want you to be in the middle of this Oreo. <laughs> This is how I'm going to be Oreo. Yeah. There's space for you. I'll make sure I don't, I don't shave my back. I'm on the back end. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's why it sucks. <laughs> you guys might as well just say bleep. I mean, bleep. <laughs> Sorry, <man. laughs> I'm just talking about it's real. It is. Real talk. It's real, real talk. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go on to a, a, another segment where we're going to play a game with a member of our, or two members of our audience. It's a huge audience right now, so all 80 of them. All, yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's at least nine people. So let's play a game. Can we get some game music? Woo! Game music. Yes. All right. That's good. First two members of the audience that makes their way over this couch are playing this game. Come on, don't rush. Yeah, come on. Screw over. No, 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 no. Yeah, All right, sweet deal. Let me get my game card. So you got two. Now these two members are actually musicians. On, this is gonna really, there we go. Yeah. This is gonna really help us out. Now the name of this game is poetry. You guys are familiar with poetry? Well, we're gonna do some in a minute. What is poetry? Right there, mm. You guys are both musicians. I'm a drummer. All right, well, <laughs> <laughs> and you are not a musician, sir. <laughs> they believe the best. They believe the best. You can say bang. I, I thought I could. Yeah. Drummers bang the best. Drummers bang the best. You heard it from Jimmy. <laughs> oh, it's because it's a drum. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh yeah. Okay. All right, let's meet the members of our. Uh, our, our game right now. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Jeff. Jeff, you don't have a Jeff. 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 <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Mr. Let's go over here with Jeff. Jeff Deeds. And we have Keith Perkins. Keith, Keith Perkins. All right. Yeah. So that would be name. I like that. Now, how we're gonna play this game is you guys remember with elementary school at all? No, we just went to the same one. You guys went to the same elementary school? Yeah, Give it up. What school is that? Red Mill! Red Mill! Red Mill! Right, represented. No guns. No guns, everyone know. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we are going to make a acrostic poem. Is that what we decided the name was? Yes. An acrostic poem out of the word Virginia. You guys are going to each get a turn to make an acrostic poem out of the word Virginia. You guys familiar with acrostic poetry? Nope. Nope. <laughs> acrostic poetry is when you take a word. And usually you put the, the word down the right hand column of your, your paper, and then for every letter of that word. Oh, an acronym. You... No. <laughs> no. no. Similar, but no. Similar. Yeah, so, so like you're going to take Virginia, and for every letter of the word Virginia, you're going to make another word out of that letter. So V could be bleep. Yeah. <laughs> Vagina. You can say that. You can say that. It's a part okay. of the male part. Yeah. It is. <laughs> so, Jeff, we're going to start with you. Since you're closer to me, I got the letters right here in case you forget how to spell Virginia. Oh, All right? Okay. So there you go. Take the mic because I'm not going to. I'm not walking down. Okay. So, V. Voyage. Voyage. I. Into. Into. <laughs> Where is this going? R. Jeff. Not rectal. Rectal. Voyage into rectal, I like that. G. Whatever. Wow. Oh, where, can I, where can I go from there? Goodness. Voyage into rectal. Yeah. Goodness. This is how we beat sentences. It is. It's about, it's, it's, That's true. It's an expression of how you are yeah. and you feel. So far, so I'm taking some great voyages. <laughs> I, um, uh, international. 
International. That's perfect. That is. That's so lovely. And
I don't know what the show is going to be, but I got the tickets. I want to give them to you. It's on December 13th. Well, are you going to be playing? It's the 13th. Are you playing in that show? Yeah. I'm playing. Yeah, he's playing in it too. You're a flopper? No, he's in Invisible Landscapes. What? All three of us are, or us two are both playing in it. Wow. See how your plan worked out? <laughs> That's what I have to do. I'm giving this to someone else then. You didn't win nothing. Give it to Jimmy. I'm going to give it to Jimmy. You want tickets? I've already bought my tickets. <laughs> Jimmy, give it to that guy in that sweet red shirt, dude. Yeah. We're going to give somebody tickets. And that just goes to show you that if you come out to the local live, you can just be like that something. Like, look, give him beer right now. He won. They're bleeding. They're bleeding. This is a great way to stay. All right, give, give a round of applause these two guys. We're going to see them later. We're going to be playing tonight. They're also going to be playing at um, uh, the Bopper show at the Norma. Yeah, it's Clockwork, Invisible, Invisible Landscapes, uh, Spirit Gun, Tom Moore, and my band, The Love Stranger. Oh, Joe. It's going to be one of the six. Well, that brings us into our, our final segment, that's Shameless Plugs. All right, so Shameless Plugs. I didn't do mine. You did You not going to be on the intro for Shameless Plugs? You said four. That was three. This is four. Uh, that's all you get. Here, I'll put it up. Shameless Plugs. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now this is the this is part of the show where we um, we want to talk about shameless plugs. Things that you want to plug shamelessly. I'm going to plug tomorrow night's show that nobody's going to actually see because this is going to be shot after tomorrow night's yeah. show, which is going to be the Thanksgiving showcase, Thanksgiving as local music. And it's going to have you on it. Yep. It's going to have the after, or not the after, okay. what? It's cool. And Jack, maybe Drew. And Jack, perhaps. It's also going to have Full Fledge. And in this whole landscape. And let me tell you something about those two bands. If you're not going to be able to make it out to the show tomorrow, which you're going to probably see on Sunday, I don't know. But tonight you're going to get a chance to see those two bands play live because they're here and they're going to rise. Yeah! We have an interview with those bands and you're going to see two songs from each of those bands. It's going to be a good time. Um, Jimmy, any shameless plugs? Not with the camera. <laughs> Jimmy, if wow. you want to talk about shamelessly plugging people, you can do that too. Yeah, any girls like that you shamelessly, like shamelessly plug? Yeah, who would you want to shamelessly plug? Drop names. <laughs> Only hear names of locals. <laughs> Only local ladies. Amber Harley. Amber Harley! Can we get Amber Harley on the show, please? Yes, we can. I'm, I'm looking at Kevin. I think he knows who Amber Harley is. Y'all do. I don't, but I want to know who it is. Eric Harley, yes. if you're watching this, Jimmy wants to shamelessly plug you in areas that are bleeped, all right? Yeah. Kevin, shameless plug. Shameless plug, all right. I've already talked about the norm on December 13th. You've already plugged me playing tomorrow. Um, here's the shameless plug. Um, no? No. No. No shameless plugs. No. So modest. No, shameless plugs. I'd like to, to plug our website there. Yeah. Plug the website? What's the website? www.knuckleRocks.com www.knuckleRocks.com Check it out. And another shameless plug that I think we all need to plug is the fact that if you guys come out and watch the local live being filmed, which is going to happen every Wednesday here at VA Live in Chesapeake, either on North or South Military Highway? South. South, South Military Highway. Come out, and all it costs to actually come in the door and watch us make fools of ourselves and talk about crap and hopefully have Jimmy here maybe a little bit more. Um, and of course, we're not gonna rock on the stage. Yeah, yeah. All it costs is no cost. uh, some donations, no cost. Donations for our um, Homeless and Hunger campaign. Um, Knuckles is gonna be collecting some, some goods such as clothes, uh, blankets, perishable food, non-perishable food, non food, food. Yeah. and uh, socks. 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 You almost need socks. Yes. Yes. Underwear. Underwear. Clean underwear. Clean underwear. Clean, clean, them. clean those underwear. Um, <laughs> so uh, 
Because that's all it's going to cost to get in your in, into the door is just a donation. And then actually, right around the week of Christmas, we're all, including Knuckle, are going to actually go out and, and hand these items that we've purchased to them out. Yeah, we're going to hand them out to the homeless. And we're going to have that on video. It's a third year running. That's awesome. This is, yeah, third year that we're doing it. And we're doing it with Knuckle. And we're now involved with Knuckle. Knuckle's been doing it for three years. So come on out and um, have some fun with us. Enjoy some good local music. Um, and, and help some people out, and that's what the, the local lab is all going to be about. Yeah. So uh, I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. We're going to close on the shameless plugs. Um, enjoy being a local Virginian, and uh, get out and do something local. Be good. Ah! Woo!